the fox here, which is pretty solid. I don't know if he plays any other characters. So we'll uh, Ken. Ken? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Anyone will see. Uh, Lucina versus Fox. Looks like we're right into it. Uh, FD? I'm not sure which of these two this would benefit better. I want to say Mr. E, but I think that's because Mr. E plays a very aggressive, I'm going to take your space style of play. Um, and this leaves very little room for Petrito to run away to. But getting back on stage, nice confirms over there, and takes the stage for himself. Nice. Comes the landing back here with the up tilt. All right. Ooh, gets him with the tip. Very good. Very clean. Tries to chase something down. Ooh, doesn't get the confirm off the side B. That's unfortunate. Ha, ha, for ya. Harry, let him know. Up is a good move, but it ain't that good. Not when I can parry. <laughs> Shield drop up smash. Alright. Tries to look for the confirm there. Not quite fast enough. He needs it, though. He's slowly racking up the percent here, and Lucina will get the stray hits, especially Mr. E's Lucina. Nice. Gets the conversion off the side B this time. Alright. Pull behind. Trying to make it so that he's not an easy target for Mr. E to scope out on this one. Gets behind him, tries to go for the back air, but he's not entirely positive after that side move. Alright. Trying to find his way back to the ledge. Good angle there to prevent him from getting uh, edge guarded. Yo, that was really smart. He dropped and went for the parry right after. Mr. E does like to uh, press buttons in disadvantage. At 143, very hard to get back here. Tries to chase off, but actually misses. Gets the counter. Yo, he was behind him. <laughs> Lucina's counter is not good. All right, so now chasing. 80% is still uh, a little low, but Fox can start looking for some cool setups. Yep, tried looking for it there, but no such dice. He's got to be a bit patient with it. Especially because if you go a little too hard on this mystery, it will hit you with a straight forward air, a straight air, and then you're going to huh? have a bit of extra percent. All right, please. Release into forward smash. All right, back here. Good. Keeping things very simple right now. Yep, very nice. That nair is not very punishable. You better have a lot of faith in whatever you're going to do after that. All right, nice. Things looking back in Petrino's favor here, but he still has to win back the stage for Mr. E. Does so, gets the ledge. Going back down, but goes a little too far! Oh, no. Oof. He was just dead. He was, like, gone. I was I was all ready for, oh, you know, this will be another, like, 30 seconds, 40 seconds of back and forth. There'll be some damage racking. If I had to guess, I would say that, you know, this is in Mr. E's favor. It's hard for Fox to get in on disjoints, but he just got parried. He just got parried to reverse upbeat. And that is a distinction worth noting. Um, not that it's particularly hard to reverse upbeat. It's not, like, any crazy input. But um, he was ready. He was ready, like, eh, if I parry this, you're not, you're not going through. So we're going over to Battlefield Yggdrasil's Altar. Um, do we have to worry about the music on this? This is Square. I don't know. We'll find Uh So what we did was <laughs> we recorded every song and then uploaded them unlisted. Yes. So they so that they could get flagged, and nothing got flagged. So. Oh, okay. So, so so far, so good, you know? We are in the clear for now. Gotcha. All right. The other music on this stage. This is a really fantastic stage. Um, and Mystery is currently knocking Petrino all over it, from left to right, ledge to ledge, making it very difficult for him to get back. I'm sure as his counter pick, he probably wanted the ledges to play with a little bit more here, have a little bit more ground to cover. But um, Mystery is not even giving him the chance. He's just keeping off the stage entirely. All right. Lots of really good pressure. Very good. Fox in general is very good at sharking the platform with up air. Um, I don't want to say up tilt. I don't think up tilt can shark. But he, he's got the options. Going for the down air. Very riskless. Lucini, Lucini, Lucina recovers very fast. Tries to go for the up smash. Gets punished with the reverse up beat. Yo, what? Okay, he's not dead. I thought he was dead. Now he's... No? Now he's dead. Dang. Mr. E's kind of rolling over him this game. He, see, he's getting that pressure on the Battlefield platform, so I feel like that part of the counter fix is working out for him. But Mr. E's just been knocking him over the ledge and then not letting him play on the stage at all. 
Maybe he even agrees. Maybe he's like, yeah, this is the counter pick you want to pick as Fox. I'm not going to let you play to the straights. All right, that's a good start. Really nice semi spike angle. Keep him off. Mystery. All right. Good confirm on the jab. At this high percent, you can actually space them out and still uh, combo them. That's a good call. Ooh. I don't know why I thought that was going to kill. <laughs> I'm looking for something. Petrina's got to get himself on the board here. It's very much in his court. Oh, Mr. E saw it coming. He was ready. Okay, that's fine. He can get back to stage. Just a little bit more percent. Uh, that's a regrab. He's dead. What happened? Did he want to go onto the stage there? Did he lose confidence? I won. I'm not sure what that was about. Hold on. So look, we, we see him grab ledge. He goes down side Vs, and then he's more or less consigned himself to death here. Like, he can't go above the ledge and hit mystery before he gets hit. I'm not sure what the game plan was on that. Maybe it was just a misinput. Honestly, that does happen. To the best of players, it does happen. But...